Okay, guys, what we're going to do in this video is, um, I know some of you already built the canoe, but we're going to just go ahead and rebuild it real quick. Uh, it only took a few minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and take all the UVs and um, do a proper snapshot um, in a fairly easy way. And if there's still time left in the video, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, put, it in photo, put it into Photoshop. We'll take the snapshot. So let's go ahead and start out with the cube. Okay, something like that. Okay. And then we're going to make it a little bit thinner. We're going to go to our inputs. That's good. Now go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. You guys should know this already. Okay. Don't need that one. Let's do one in the middle. One right there in the middle, one at the end. Okay, um, we'll do one more right there. Remember, if you hit the G on your keyboard, that'll execute the uh, last command. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to face, and we're just gonna grab. Basically, we could go to side view here, grab all of these, then we could go to top view, hold Control on your keyboard and deselect these. It's a very quick way to get what you need here. Then go to Edit Mesh Extrude. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up. Okay, looks pretty decent. Um, now we're just going to differentiate the back from the front. So for the back, let's make the back a little bit wider. Okay, just like that. And what we're going to do in the front is we'll we'll widen out the front, but just a little bit, not quite as much. Okay, just like that. So now we're starting to get a nice nice boat shape here. Um, that's good. And what we'll do is let's go ahead and raise the back of the uh, we'll raise the back of the canoe a little bit. I'm just going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop. I'm actually going to do Offset Edge Loop Tool. Uh, no, I don't want that there. There we go. I want it right here. So we're going to do about right. We could drag up and down to uh, play around this. This will make sure it's symmetrical. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Vertex. And we're just going to bring these guys up. And bring that up. It's kind of looking like a coffin, but it's okay. Let's grab these guys. Bring it forward. And we go to these. Bring those forward a little, a little bit. Just a hair. Bring this forward. Okay, and we're going to do the same with the back so it doesn't look coffin like. I'm just going to reshape it up real nice. Alright, so we basically have our canoe here. Um, you can give a little bit of. <clears throat> let's go to the top view here. We could select these guys. And you could bring it down. And go back to the top view. Select just the middle row. Bring that down a little bit more. So we have a nice little boat shape here. You know, it's not it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it'll work for our, our purposes. Well, you can grab this and bring those down a little. Bring these down. Okay, whatever. That's that'll work. Maybe you want to go ahead and go to edge and take this edge and bring that edge down. Bring this edge right there down a little bit. Select these guys together and just bring them down a bit. Okay. That just kind of, kind of get where we want here. Okay. You know, I, I'm not using a reference image. If I was, it would probably look a little bit better, but this will do it. Okay, so there we go. Good enough. Can do a little bit of that with here. 
Maybe I want to bring that up. Bring these guys up a little bit. Okay. Maybe I want to go on these edges and you know bring those up a little too. Just go around the boat a little bit. You know, give it a little bit more of a kind of an organic shape. And it could be like an old kind of beat up canoe, so it doesn't have to be um, perfectly symmetrical. You know, it's gone through some storms or something, a little bit weathered. Okay, so that's good. You know, later on you're going to put your two little planks in using cubes. So what we're going to do now is since we have the uh, we have this thing out pretty good, is um, just gonna grab. we're going to go ahead and uh, do our UV mapping. So what we're going to do is pretend this is a cube. Let me put a little cube next to it. We're going to go ahead and do the blue faces. That face is in the red, and the face is in the green. That's all we're going to do. So, easiest way to do this is go ahead and take your paintbrush, and let's go ahead and go to face, and we're going to select the front. All the faces in the front. Okay, let's go ahead and get the inside here. And we're going to go to the other side. And go ahead and get these guys. So now we have all the faces that are on the um, z-axis. How do I know? Well, if I take the move tool, and I notice the blue arrow is perpendicular to these faces. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, and I'm going to go to Create UVs, Planner Map, Z-axis Project. And you'll see that this is now the, uh, the front and back. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to drag it up here. I'm actually going to drag it off the grid, right up there. Okay, right like that. So now I have those faces. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the side faces. So again, I'm going to take my, my paintbrush tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and paintbrush in all these sides here. I'm going to go this side. This side. You're probably asking, now why don't you just select them? Well, I want to make sure I get everything. I want to kind of be, take my time and be a little precise here, just so I don't make any, make any errors. So there you go. We can get these. Looking pretty good. Uh, we'll save these for front and back. Again, that's like more of a personal preference. You'll notice I accidentally got one under here, so I hold Control on my keyboard and uh, bru do a brush stroke. <clears throat> and the brush stroke will allow me to uh, get rid of those. So click the move tool, and now these axis is on the red. So I'm going to go to create UVs, planner map, and I'm going to go to X axis, because X is red, project. And I'm just going to go ahead and shrink that down. And that's the side. Kind of a weird shape here, but we don't have too much contour up here. That's why it looks kind of flat. But that's okay. Go to UV, right click, select shell. Okay, the W. <clears throat> and just move this off. You can move it over here. And just to see what orientation this is in, select these faces. Okay, and we could tell that. So these faces here represent this part. Now, you might have to go in and fix these a little. <clears throat> I'm not sure. We could see how they, they kind of work here. That's good. See that? You just want to make sure that you could get to them. Okay, the rest should be fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to face mode, and we're going to select all the faces, right? Then we're going to hold shift on our keyboard and highlight. And that'll select all the faces that we haven't used. And now we're just going to go to create UVs, planner map, 
And we're going to use the green axis this time. The green axis is Y. So we're going to go ahead and choose Y and click Project. And what that'll do is that'll allow me to uh, see, take a UV map of this object from the top view. Let's go ahead and move this off. So now when I go to Object Mode and I select this object, I shouldn't have anything left behind. And uh, we're good. So I just need you guys to go ahead and go to UV. So right click on this, go to UV, highlight these, and I hit W, you know, use my move tools, and um, put everything there. Now again, this is the side, and this is the top. You can tell this is vertical, and the side's horizontal. So you have to choose which direction you want. I'm just going to go ahead and make them all vertical. If I want to go this way. This is the bottom here. So let's go ahead and move this over. I want to try to make them all the same height if I can. As close as I can to making them the same. They don't have to be perfect, but they should be around the same height and width. Okay, and this is the front and back. Hit W. Front and back's a little big, so I'm just going to shrink those down a little. And again, let's go ahead and make those vertical. Make sure you're in UV mode. Okay, there we go. And you can make these a little bit, you know, same. So we have, this is the top bottom, this is the sides, and this is the front and back. So now we have to take all of these, and we have to scale them down, and we have to place them on our grid. Okay, so... We're done with this lecture. <clears throat> what we're going to do in the next lecture is we're going to go ahead and uh, do a UV snapshot. And we're going to go ahead and texture it in Photoshop.